the one question I probably get asked more than anything else. The one question we've all probably asked at some point in time. What is the best rep range for building muscle? If you're on any sort of journey, whether it's weight loss, muscle gain, building, shaping, sculpting your body, you probably want to know this, that the most important rep range for building muscle is the one you're not doing. The rep range that you're currently not doing is the one that is best for you. I know that might sound crazy, but the reality is, is that all rep ranges build muscle. And the one that's going to build the most muscle is the one that's most novel to you. The one that is sends the newest and most unique and different signal to your body is going to be the one that sends the loudest muscle building signal possible. Now, before you just move on from this video and think that you just have the answer or that you're frustrated with this answer, let me explain to you why that is. Let me explain to you how to actually see the best muscle building results possible and make it so you are maximizing muscle every step of the way. You have to realize at this point, there is some complexity involved with the best rep range. If you are always doing 10 to 12 reps on every exercise, thinking that you're maximizing muscle gain, just like all the bodybuilders, well, if you're doing that over and over and over again, expecting a different outcome, you're gonna drive yourself insane because you're going to plateau. What you don't want is to hit a plateau on your journey. The last thing you wanna do is put in months, if not years of work, just to go nowhere. It's extremely frustrating. Sure, you might build some muscle, but if you wanna maximize your results, if you wanna see the best muscle building possible, you have to phase your training. You have to do it in a way, in a structured way, that is gonna promote muscle gain every step of your journey. And by the way, if you haven't already, I have my guide for the six ways to maximize muscle gain in the description below. Go ahead and download that, it's completely free. It's my gift to you for taking the time to watch this video. To wrap things up, the last thing I wanna cover is the three major rep ranges, how we cycle through them, how often we cycle through them, and what the major benefits and sometimes the detriments of each rep range can be, especially if you stay in that rep range for too long. So typically, we find that the average person tends to plateau anywhere from three to six weeks. And we've found that nice sweet spot to be around four weeks of sticking to the same rep range. And by the way, if you haven't already, I did a video in the past where I talked about the most ideal workout program structure that is gonna maximize muscle gain, which is full body workouts three days a week. If you wanna learn more about why that is and how it actually helps you maximize your recovery, go ahead, find there's a link somewhere around here I'm gonna put and also in the description where I talk about this in depth. Now, moving forward, like I mentioned, I wanna talk about these three rep ranges and how we cycle through them. So the first rep range is strength, the second one is hypertrophy, and the third one is muscle endurance. So like I said, we stick in each rep range for about four weeks, and then we cycle through them up and down. So what I mean by that is we pyramid. So we go strength for four weeks, hypertrophy for four weeks, muscle endurance for four weeks, and then we pyramid our way back down going from endurance to hypertrophy, hypertrophy to strength, and then we pyramid our way back up. What this does is it consistently allows our body to have a novel stimulus so we can continue to send a new signal so we can continue to build muscle. So strength is typically defined as one to six reps. Now, I love this rep range as a starting rep range for all of our clients because typically men and women are not in this rep range. Why? Most often people get hurt in this rep range because they lift with their egos and they don't know how to use proper form and technique. But thankfully, we have built out our own app where we give our clients their custom workout program and actually show them videos of me demonstrating the exercise, showing them how to do proper technique and form. Not only that, they send us form videos so we can make sure that they're not gonna get hurt at the gym. But the reason I'm telling you this is because if you are using the right form, if you are using the proper technique and speed with this style of training, you're going to see amazing 
progress and strength gains, which are going to result in muscle gain. Now, moving on to the second rep range, which is that 8 to 12 rep range, which is hypertrophy, which is also known as muscle building, this rep range is best for building muscle as it's defined. However, it could be the worst range to build muscle if you're in it for too long. This is what we find with a lot of our male clients. They come to us and like, oh, I've been doing 8 to 12 reps for the last two years. Like, no wonder you're not growing, bro. You've been doing the same thing over and over again. Right? So what we want to do is we want to cycle through these rep ranges. So that 8 to 12 rep range, like I said, it's great for building muscle. It's also great for building that mind-muscle connection, working on that tempo, the range of motion, the technique that you're using inside the gym. And it's going to be great for helping you build muscle, which is why you're watching this video. And last but not least, one of my least favorite rep ranges, which is the 15 to 20. Now, I say it's my least favorite because I really don't enjoy cardiovascular training, but that's exactly why I make myself do it. It's because typically the rep range that you hate the most, the one that you resist and want to, want to avoid, is typically the one that is best for you, typically the one that is going to give you the best result. So if one of these rep ranges sticks out to you and you're like, I really don't want to do that, it's probably a sign that you absolutely should do that. And as I mentioned before, we're going to go phase one is strength, phase two is going to be hypertrophy, phase three, muscle endurance, phase four, back down to hypertrophy, and so on and so forth. So you pyramid up and you pyramid back down with the reps. What this is going to allow you to do is continue to see progress, continue to build muscle, and continue to move forward on your journey without hitting that dreaded plateau. So to sum things up, remember, every rep range builds muscle. Every rep range will build muscle. And the one that is going to maximize, the one that is going to build the most amount of muscle is the one you're currently not doing. So look at your workout program you're following. And if you've been doing the same rep range, change to the opposite end or change to the one you haven't done in a long time. And more than likely, I can almost guarantee that you will begin building muscle like never before. I hope you found value in this video. I hope you have a ton of little takeaways that you can insert into your own workouts so you can see even better results. And like I mentioned before, if you haven't already, go download my free guide. I go in depth on a lot of these topics. And if you want to maximize muscle gain, I highly, highly, highly recommend you go and grab that. And thank you again for tuning into today's video. I'm so excited to continue bringing you more. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.